Hi there, it's super easy to put your face in a circle like this in DaVinci Resolve. I use this all the time in my Resolve tutorials. Don't click off, but we will be using Fusion. Don't be afraid, I'm gonna make it super clear and easy to follow. So here's a small part of a tutorial I did on Multicam editing in Resolve. We've got two video tracks here. This top one is the video track. If I just hit D to disable it, you can see that underneath we've got the video track containing the screen recording. I'll just enable this by hitting D. So what we want to do is superimpose my face here in the bottom corner in a circle on top of the screen recording. What we're going to do is click on the Fusion workspace down here, and this will take us to the Fusion node layout. I'm also just going to go to a single view layout by clicking this button, just to simplify things a little bit on the screen. The first thing we want to do is create a mask around my face here, so that everything underneath, which will be the screen recording, is going to show through. To do that, I'm going to come to this button here, click on it to create an ellipse, and then just move it over my face. Notice that this ellipse has an arrow going down to Media In 1. Media In 1 is the source video. What I'm going to do is just double click this arrow and that will remove it. The next thing we're going to do is add a transform so we can choose how big the face is going to appear inside the circle. To do that, click on this empty area, hold down control and hit the space bar and then type transform. You can see this transform in brackets XF, just click add to add that. And now we get this new transform node. What we want to do is put this down here. So I'm going to drag it over this line, hold down shift until this line goes blue and yellow, and then let go of the mouse button. And now the source video comes from media one along this arrow into this transform node. And then it comes out of this transform node into media out one, which is ultimately the final output of this fusion graph. The next thing we need to do is join up this ellipse to this transform transform. So come over to this little gray square, left click and hold down the mouse button and then just drag it onto the transform here. So you can see we've got this ellipse node highlighted. We've got this red border around it and that means we can move it around the screen. Notice at the minute it's not actually doing anything. It's not creating a mask. So what we need to do is come up to the inspector here and click on it. And here you can see the controls for the ellipse. If you click on another node, such as this transform node, we get the properties for the transform node now. Come into the settings section here, and then come down and check this multiply by mask checkbox. Watch what happens when I do this. Notice now we get a mask. So what we'll do is click on the ellipse node and either come to the control section here and modify this X and this Y value by clicking and dragging, or you can come to the middle here, wait till the arrows go white, hold down the left mouse button, and move it around. At the minute, the face is a bit too small, so we're going to come to this transform node and click on it to select it, come back to the controls here, and then use this size slider just to get the face the size that you think you want it. You can come back here and move this around, probably decrease the size, this first transform node is all about getting the size of the head relative to the circle that we're going to be creating. The next thing we want to do is actually create a circle border around it. I'm just going to click in this empty area and then hold down control and hit spacebar and start off by typing S E L. We get this S ellipse tool. I'm going to click add to add that. This is going to let us draw a circle. Go to left click in an empty area, hold down control and spacebar, and this time type S render. We'll add that and then join up this ellipse to this S render node. The S render node does the job of actually taking the shape and rendering it onto the screen. At the minute, this ellipse, even though we've got this render node, is not going to be added to the final output video for this fusion composition. To do that, we need to merge it in with the rest of the video information. By the way, if this is your first time here, welcome, I'm Jason Roberts, and this channel is all about making better looking, better sounding, and better edited videos. If that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing, that would be great. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. So what we can do is just click on an empty area to deselect everything and come up here to this button and click it to create a merge node. Drag this down here over the top of this line, hold down shift until the line goes yellow and blue and then let go of the mouse button and that will put it in line between this transform and this media out node. Next, grab the output from this render node and drag it down on top of this merge node. Now you can see we get this circle. We don't actually want a solid circle, so click on this S ellipse node and come over to the controls here and uncheck this solid tick box. This will let us create just an outline of a circle. To create the outline, increase the border width size here and then use this little control to drag the circle on top of the face. If you want to change the color of this white border, come over to the style section here and then go and choose a color. I'm just going to click pick screen color and then hover over this purple, click it again to select that color and click OK. If I just head back to the editing timeline, notice that this face in a circle is ridiculously big, far too big for a tutorial. So once again, come back to fusion and what we're going to do after this merge node is add another transform node here. Hit control space again and type transform and then click add. 
we're going to drag this down here, hold down shift until the line goes yellow and blue and let go. And that will put this transform as the last stage before outputting the video. Make sure you click on transform and then come over to the controls here. You can now alter the size of both the face and the circle that we've drawn around it by using this slider here. And either use the X and Y positions here or come over, click in the center here and drag it down to where you want it. Once you're happy, come back to the edit page. Now you can see we've got this face in the circle and now we've added a really nice little personal touch to that edit. There's so much you can do in DaVinci Resolve that it's often hard to know what you're missing out on. If you really want to level up your knowledge, check out this playlist next. I'm Jason Roberts and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.